Hello, my name is David Malin, and I'm the instructor for Computer Science E1, Understanding Computers and the Internet at Harvard University's Extension School. You're watching one of our videos of the week. For more such videos or information about this course, visit us on the web at computerscience1.org. Enjoy the show. Hello, I'm Dan Armendaris, a TA for Computer Science E1. You're watching one of our videos of the week. In this video, I'm going to be talking to you about purchasing a digital camera. Now, if you're in the market for one, you may already know that there's a lot of models out there. A lot of prices, a lot of sizes, a lot of shapes, a lot of colors, everything. So here's a few tips to help you narrow it down a little bit. First of all, realize that megapixels aren't everything. Yes, it's important, but it's certainly not defining. Most modern digital cameras have enough megapixels for the average user. It's important to note that a lot of other factors go into the quality of an image, not just the megapixels. Everything from the lens uh, at the front all the way to the electronics in the back, and even the user holding the camera can greatly affect the quality of the image being taken. So first, when you're trying to purchase a digital camera, decide what you're going to use it for. Uh, are you going to sneak it into concerts so you need a really small one? Are you going to just bring it on family trips, for example, so you, you, you could use a relatively large one. It all depends on what you want to use it for. So next, given this, think of the, the following factors. The type of camera that you want, the size, and the price. Now there are several types of cameras out there. There is the SLR type, which most, consider, which most people consider to be professional looking, although it doesn't necessarily mean that the photographer is professional. And there's also the, the normal digicams, which are relatively small. Another factor you want to consider is size. Most SLRs don't come very small, but a lot of modern digital cameras can be very small and even fit into your pocket. The last factor that you might want to consider is price. Do you want to spend $100 or do you want to spend $5,500? This all, all of these factors will help play a part in, uh, in your decision to purchase a digital camera. So here are some things to consider. If you're going to start digital photography as a hobby, you may want to purchase a digital camera that you can grow into. So something that has a few more features than, than you expect, for example, or one that might be just a, a step up above what you would normally purchase. If you're not that serious about it, don't necessarily spend the extra money to get features that you don't need. Only get what you need and stick to, the, to a smaller size and to a better price. Now, it's important to realize that a better camera doesn't necessarily mean a better photo. For more information on this, I recommend watching the Digital Photography Video of the Week. So when you're researching digital cameras, I recommend taking a look at some websites to help you in your decision. Imaging-resource.com even has a product advisor where you can enter in some of the factors that you're considering, and it'll tell you some recommended cameras. Of course, that site also has some very in-depth and good reviews about different cameras. Another one to check out is dpreview.com. They have a lot of very in-depth reviews and some very good discussion boards that you can ask questions on. I hope this helps you out in your digital camera purchase. My name is Dan Armandaris, and I hope you've enjoyed this video of the week. Have a great day. First of all, realize that megapixels aren't everything. Really, they are a little bit important because it does define how much. Um, I'm not going to talk. I don't want to talk about that. I don't want to talk about the technical aspects of this. First of all, realize that megapixels aren't everything. Yes, it's important because it helps define the. Uh, I just said I was not going to talk about that. Most modern dedicated digital cameras have enough megapixels for the average user. What I mean by a dedicated di di I hear myself talking. I had the speakers on, and so I could... I hear the voice. Most modern dedicated digital cameras have enough megapixels for the average user. 